Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Let's take another uh, look at a polar coordinates example problem. And let's look at the case where x is equal to 1 and y is equal to root 3. And let's see if we can figure out what r and theta are equal to in this case. And before we do that, let's just take a guess. Let's draw a picture and we'll take a guess. And then we'll see if our answer is close to that guess. So here's our Cartesian coordinate system, x and y, and we said x is equal to 1, so we're going to go out one unit in x. y is equal to square root of 3. Is square root of 3 bigger than 1 or smaller than 1? Bigger, right? It's got to be bigger than 1. Square root of 1 is 1, so square root of 3, of course, has to be bigger than 1. All right, so we go up a little bit more in y, and our point is right about there. So r is going to be that, theta is going to be that. And let's just take a guess. And let's guess based on this picture. Okay, If this side is 1 and that's root 3, how big do you think that r should be? Yeah, 2. two. Okay, 2 sounds like a good one. What about theta? What's our guess for theta? Somebody else have a guess for theta? Yeah, what's your guess for theta? 60 degrees. 60 degrees. Okay. I like those rather informed guesses. Let's see how close we were, okay? I mean, clearly we're in this first quadrant, so theta has to be a positive number. Clearly that r is bigger than 1 and bigger than root 3. And could be 2. Let's, let's figure it out. So let's redraw the triangle a little bit bigger. And let's see if we can figure out what r is. r is, of course, just the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared, which is the square root of 1 plus 3, which is the square root of 4, which is 2. All right, your guess was right on the money. What about theta? Well, you might remember that a 1 square root of 3, 2 triangle is a very special kind of triangle. It's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And does the 30 go up here or where our theta is? 30 corresponds to the shorter side of the triangle. So this one up here has to be 30 which means our theta has to be 60, and that's the 90. And let's just convince ourselves that that is indeed correct. And you can do, again, any one of the trig functions, but just for kicks, let's do the tangent. The tangent of theta is the square root of 3 over 1. So theta is the arc tangent of square root of 3. And if you plug that into your calculator, you, of course, get 60 degrees. All right? So it's good to take a guess at these things first to see if you're going to be close. In this case, you guys knew exactly what the answer was because this is a very famous triangle, the 1 square root of 3, 2 triangle. Okay? But when you don't know it, just take a guess and see if your answer is close to your guess. If it's way off from your guess, then either you did something wrong in the problem or your intuition about the problem was wrong. And either way, you need to fix one of those things. Okay, let's try something else. Uh, hopefully this is clear. Uh, if not, come see me in office hours. All right, cheers.